best chance Belgium have had to opening their account. Counter attack up the other end. Argentina to go ahead. They've done it against the run of play. Argentina take the lead. And here's how it came about. Matthias did a great job. He actually got the he actually made the first interception in his own 25-yard line. From there ran up front, ran into space to receive that pass. A lovely little pass. superheroes in Japan again good run coming in it's going to be a chance Morris she was come out that's a goal oh, how did that finish. get in he just continued to drive into the circle never gave it up and then off that angle goalkeeper not getting close enough there can only have been 20 centimeters 10 centimeters between oh, his foot and the baseline but the power's taking it past him drilled through the tiniest of gaps and in off the far post well, yeah, it hit the post with real pace. And uh, you'll see it here, it just goes. Kameda, who scored against both Belgium and Argentina at Rio 2016. And suddenly, Argentina have the goal! And it's Paredes who scored it for nothing. Greta Gui celebrating. Half chance has been committed. Luki Villa gets in the ball, just tips the ball over the plastic of a defender and Paredes standing at the far on the baseline just tips that ball past the keeper, key goal to the far corner. <laughs> Lovely little touch past Kiko Cortes playing in his third Hockey World League Finals. He has 310 caps to his name. From Hocker, now it's two and two, getting into a great position. Sensational finish from Joaquin Menini, his second goal in this Hero Champions Trophy, but yet again, superb assist and a great pass from Matias Paredes. Well, it's an awful giveaway, how has it stolen off him and it's touched under his arm, that's the run for Menini. Now, I don't understand Royce's hand position, his right hand on the slow-mo, look at his right hand down, needs that up, big right hand foam to make the save from that shot. Really has been one of the goals of this Hero Champions Trophy and takes him along to two goals. This is Argentina, they haven't had a lot of possession in recent times. Can they make the most of this though? Few men moving forward and that's an outstanding finish. That is absolutely incredible from Facundo Caglioni. See here on that right hand side, eyes up, smashed in under the arm, pulls the ball. Caglioni's just got that extra metre behind the Dutch defender, in touch. Stockman, you can argue, might have been a little bit more aware and a bit more aggressive, but there's absolutely no way he could have known what was coming. It's still not over and done with yet. Oh, what a finish! What a goal that is from Lucas Villa! And the nine men of Argentina go into a 3-0 lead. A brilliant finish! What a day, what a take, all about Villa on his own, left, right, left, right, sees the top of the D, winds up, that's all about the preparation, he's preparing to hit this before he gets to the edge of the circle, one touch outside the left foot, bang, forward foot, all the aggression, all the momentum, very little that Peterson can do, it comes through the defender Austin Smith. Realistically though, it could be the top five, so there's plenty to play for World Rankings, points, etc., which do have a bearing on things. And there is the first goal. Wonderful anticipation in the end there by Caglioni. Yeah. Pulls out, and it's a bit of hit and hope. I mean, that can't be anything that's planned, but the final touch executed fantastically well off a difficult ball, but the finest of touches over the goalkeeper's head is the roof of the net. Really well what was indeed and you could see from the expression on Ono's face that he knew he should have probably been a little bit tighter. The road from us, the commentary position there enjoying this game. Oh what a finish! That's a second. What an unbelievable finish from Lucas Villa! That's two from two, it's driven into the circuit. It's all about him, he does it all himself creates enough space and from 12 yards out gets the front edge of that stick on it gets enough trajectory to get beyond the hands of the flailing helpless Peterson. Well you said Peterson was good with his hands you could have had a couple of keepers in there and they're not getting their hands up in time. Clear. 
to the players as to what he wants. Touch, and it's in. Who did that come off? It's a goal given. Well, is it the goal? I think it might be. Retagui celebrates the players go to the number 30 of Argentina, the youngster, Augusto Miguel, here in his debut world final. Well, Gilardi actually plays that ball inside. It just deflects slightly off Noel's stick. And the number 30 for Argentina, Bugala Augustin, gets in front of his marker, gets in front of Jeremy Hayward and deflects the ball. It's a fantastic movement by the youngster. On the break. Oh, a little in and away from Masili. And what a finish! Sick and dance! Puts it home. That's five! From Kiyamo, Shiga Dance! Vasily's initial reverse stick effort going high and probably wide of the mark, but Chicken Dance, just right place, right time, taking the ball down just above his head and making its way into the back of the net there. Fantastic poacher like goal.